in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go from a recursive formula to writing an explicit formula. All right, before we even begin, let me do a little quick refresher of what a recursive formula looks like and what an explicit formula looks like. So if you don't already have this written down somewhere, pause the video now and jot this down. Welcome back. <laughs> now, as you can see in the first example, they give us the recursive formula where it says a sub one equals six, a sub n equals a sub n minus one plus four. We already know what the first term is. We already know what our common difference is. And that's all we need for the explicit formula. So now I can write this formula out. It'll be a sub n equals six, since that's my a sub one, plus four, since that's my common difference, times n minus one. Technically, that's it. But if I want to go further and write it in slope-intercept form, that's when I will distribute the four and get 4n minus 4, bring down my plus 6, combine my like terms of 6 and negative 4, and that will give me 4n plus 2. And that's it. Let's look at another example. Same thing here. My first term is 38, and my common difference is negative 11. So I can write out my explicit formula to be a sub n equals 38 minus 11 times n minus 1. And like I stated before, technically this is it. That's the explicit formula. But if you want to go further to write it in slope-intercept form, I'll distribute my negative 11 to get negative 11n plus 11. That's because a negative times a negative is a positive. And then bring down my 38, combine my like terms, 38 plus 11, will give me 49, bring down my negative 11 in, and that's my explicit formula written in slope-intercept form. And that's it! 